Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. After accidentally ending the last video earlier than I planned on doing. Sorry about that, by the way. We go up here. To the Lost Woods area, customary area in Zelda games. Where you either, where you either end up back at the start if you go the wrong way. Or end up repeating the same screens over and over again. Oh. Target practice. So much easier in this version of the game than it was originally, at least for me. slingshot ammo. Down here, there is a little ocarina mini game you could play, but I don't want to do that, at least not now. Watch him again. Basically, the game's way of telling you if you're going the right way or not. This is a shortcut for later. Once you've actually been over there and opened it up from that side. In the meantime, yeah. intentionally go the wrong way. Like the owl was saying, here you can hear the music playing in the background. Here, not so much so, meaning you don't want to go this way. Of course, having played the game enough times where you pretty much memorize the way through the Lost Woods, that helps too. far end of the area. Somewhere around here. Okay. There it is. If you already have the skull mask from the exchange sequence, there's actually a purpose to this room. Otherwise, not so much so. Put 
it on. <coughs> yeah. Okay, what? Hey! Ganging up on me here. Oh, you're not attacking. Okay. What forest totem? What are you talking about? Of course, if you're only using these things to light torches, you'll probably never need this upgrade since, like I said earlier, and most people know by now, use a stick to light a torch and slash your sword to save the stick for later, and in so doing, you can use that same stick repeatedly. The only way you'd really need these upgrades is if you're using them for, for attack purposes, since as soon as you hit something with it, it breaks and you lose it. Say, where's my war body? Right, now I'll take this silly mask off. Okay, the game does it on it. <coughs> <coughs> so now, in passing, get another bug. And again, just like before. Put something else there for now. Again, having played the game so many times you have the way through the Lost Woods definitely helps have the way memorized, I should say. Anyways, now, to prioritize everything I've done since leaving Castletown being escorted out by Impa, blah, blah, blah. Everything I've done since then is optional. This is not. You actually do have to come here. I'll fight him first. Hey, what happened to the 3D? You've gone back to Aerial View 2D, Zelda. Okay, come on. Oh yeah, it helps if you actually hold the red one. Hey! That's some long distance aiming you have there, buddy. Now we're back to 3D. Ignore that doorway on the upper level. Can't get in there yet. That's for later. And even if you cheated your way up there like Game Shark codes, press L to levitate and got up there now, there's nothing you could do up there at this point in the game, so you'd be wasting your time even trying. Again, something for later. Yeah, probably because of the doorway that's up above her head. Up there in the upper level of that building. Sure. Saria song. 
will need this song back in Death Mountain when you're ready to go on to the next dungeon. Which now that I have this, technically I could go do that now, but I still got some more of the optional stuff I want to do first. So. later when we can actually get up there. Now, hey, there's a ladder here. I could empty out my bottles and just call the bottle that has milk and just get a bottled berry. But for now, the milk will do. Later in the game, though, I mean, like I said, milk only recovers five hearts. Right now, that's health, complete health recovery since I only have four of them. But later in the game, berries are more useful. Complete health recovery, regardless of how many heart containers you have. Play this, I usually don't even bother with red potion, just get bottled berries. Anyways, too bad that too bad you couldn't just get up there on the way out there. Take the shortcut both. other way. get these in either order. You can get this one first and then that other one or, or none of them. It works either way. song, which is why I never go over here and tell I do. Cool. Now 
another heart container. Sweet. Now I have five of them. And put that on. Talk to him. But only if you intend on and, and, and already have used this to get that Deku Stick upgrade. Granted, you can go back to the salesman and get another one, as I found out in more recent playthroughs. can just go get another skull mask from the mask guy. Use that to... But anyway, step two of that sequence. And that's about it for the Lost Woods and Kokiri Forest for now. But we will be back here several times through the rest of the game. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before I forget, I already have actually, but... At least I remembered before I completely left the area. Since this game, this version of the game won't let you just simply reuse the bugs over and over again like the original N64 did. Go back and get some more bugs. Next stop, all the way over on the other side of the world map. Hyrule Field here is kind of boring, actually. There's not much going on. <coughs> I mean, I know people say, some people say that about Breath of the Wild world map, but there I strongly disagree. No matter where you are in the world, you're not too far from a Korok puzzle, a shrine, a stable, an enemy base camp. You know, not too far away from something to do on the world map. Here, on the other hand, yeah. so much of Hyrule Field is pointless. Just the central hub of your game. And I'm going to be taking a little slight detour for reasons I'll explain in about 30 seconds to a minute of real time. That owl up there on the top of that tree. For some reason, if you pass by as close to this wall as you possibly can, he doesn't bother you. Doesn't try talking to you. Cool. You can actually avoid confrontation with that owl. Silence is golden. Anyways, that said. Valley, and a lot of fans pick as one of the, if not the best music track in this game. Eh, I'd say it's up there, but for me, either Kokiri Forest that we've already heard, 
or one of the later later dungeon themes that we haven't even been anywhere near yet are better than this one but again it's all a matter of personal opinion so now for any storyline gameplay mechanic purpose you don't have to be here until much later in the game like towards the end of it actually but there are a couple things I can do here now so grab this thing that slow descent angle or whatever, however you want to put that to get over here. Now, if you can put this thing down, I goofed it already, no, maybe not. I, yeah, he's not going to stay around long. Ah, uh, dang it. If you can do that fast enough, it is possible to put the cuckoo down, break this crate, get that hard piece, and have that chicken still be here so that you can pick it up again. It is possible to do that. I have seen it done. Just I have never been able to do that personally. It kind of stinks because now I have no way to get to that little walkway way down there. Not from here. Not without the help of that cuckoo and that slow descent thing. So the only way to get down there now is to take a dive. Follow the river to where it goes and then loop around from there. Kind of stinks, but oh well. Okay. Well, there are things to do here in Lake Hylia, but... Since I'm going to be back here again in a few minutes anyway, I'll do that then. Well, except for this. As long as I got my bottled bug. Might as well do this now while I'm here. already? Wow. Uh-oh. There's that owl again. And you can barely see him from this. Oh. Sorry, dude. I have nothing to say to you. Goodbye. game they aren't as annoying as they are in some of the earlier games where you can't hit them until they stop spinning and land. They can hit you while they're in flight, but you can't hit them. Hmm. Yeah. At least in this game while they're flying. Actually, in this game while they land, their only weak spot is buried in the sand and you can't hit them. It's a little more fair in this game. They aren't quite as annoying. Now, 
at night time only, there will be a Scotula right around there somewhere. But it'll be like some of the ones I've already pointed out. It'll be out of reach. You can't get the token it leaves behind until you get the boomerang. So killing the Scotula right now would be pointless. This time, I don't know if you actually need this group to get to where I want to go, but just in case. Could let go, but I want to make sure I actually land on the walkway and not in the water. Not that that's you know, lethal in this game, but still. Land in the water and end up being carried with the current of the river back down and end up having to come back, loop back around a second time. No thank you, not if I can avoid it. Alright. Now, first off, another soil square. Of course, these soil squares will have another purpose a little later in the game. Another item you can put there. Come on, hit the damn thing. How many tokens is that now, by the way? Just out of curiosity. No, not quite. Need one more to get the second Sculptula token prize. For 20 tokens. Now, the ages old video game cliche. Something hidden behind a waterfall. In some games it's in an entire dungeon. In some games it's a mini dungeon. Or optional mini game. In this case... Oh, if I actually do it right. A heart piece. Yeah. So many games have that cliche of something hidden behind the waterfall. for Gerudo Valley, at least until I get the boomerang when I can come back and get that skull slug token I pointed out earlier. And even later than that, one of the one of the best dungeons in Zelda history is here in the Valley, in the Gerudo Valley area. Granted, that's a long way away yet. Optionally, there's an ocarina song. Not one that you learn that someone plays for you, but one that you make up yourself, providing that it's eight notes long. It serves no required purpose, at least not in the main original game. I think they actually made some required use out of it in Master Quest, I think. But this is a Master Quest, so it doesn't matter either way. Talk to this guy. Or just take out your ocarina. Something that's easy for you to remember, but yet eight notes long. Could just be, you know, like A, 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 up, up, or something like that. Or. Let's see, what Oh, uh, shoot, what was it? Hold that. I'm trying to remember. Of course, if I were playing Majora's Mask, I wouldn't be able to use this song as this Gurkho song since this, these notes would already be taken by the Goron lullaby of that game. But... Now, like Epona's song, 
I can't use this song to its fullest extent until later in the game. But again, like you own a song, you have to play it, or in this case, set it up early, or you'll never be able to use it. I mean, I'm sorry, that's about the best explanation I can give without spoiling one of the game's major gimmicks. Which again, given the game we're talking about, I think most people know about it already. But just in case, for somebody watching this that hasn't played the game yet, try to avoid spoilers as much as possible, these major plot point ones. Which, explaining the mechanics of the Scarecrow song would entail, I'd have to explain one of the game's major plot points. I'm not going there. Anyways. I don't care much for this. Ever since Link's Awakening, so many Zelda games have fishing mini-games. Mm. Yeah, 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 let's just do this. The idea here is you have to catch a 9 or 10 pound fish to get a heart piece. which sometimes can be easier said than done. Luckily, it's totally optional, just a heart piece, so don't necessarily need it. No. Okay, where is... It's up a little further. Uh, great, where is it now? Can you tell it? You think it's right over there? Yeah. Alright, nah, that's not the one I want. At least I don't think so. Come on! No, that's definitely not the one I want. Too small. Putting up a decent fight for a fish in size, though. Holy crap. I'd have been surprised if that actually was the right one all along. Okay. Yeah, behind that log there, it's kind of hard to tell from these, from this viewpoint. Of course, I might have scared it away since I got too far into the water earlier. Oh no, it's still back there. Okay, I just didn't cast in the right spot. to get away is the one you want for the heart piece has a tendency of doing that. If it was always this easy, I wouldn't have such a deep-rooted resentment for this minigame as I do. Usually this dang fish gets away at least twice every single time I play the game. N64 original or this remake, remaster, doesn't matter. Usually end up having to try this at least three times. Of course, I don't have any kind of like walkthrough or strategy guide tips for you. It's all just random, I think. Well, other than the, fi the fish you want is always where I found it. Unless you either fail at catching it and it gets away, or you scare it away. 
then from then on, you're pretty much on your own. I think it's all random where it swims to and where you can find it at after that. I think. I just... If that happens, I usually just give him his pull back, leave the room, come back in, resetting the whole procedure, go back to where I caught the fish from. Granted, it costs 20 rupees every time you do that, but at least it takes out the randomness of where the fish would be. Anyways. Another heart piece. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Again, that went a lot easier than it usually does. Now, one more thing to do here in Lake Hylia for now. I mean, there will be other things to do here, including one of the most, one of the most infamous, infamous, notorious dungeons in all of Zelda history can be found here in Lake Hylia much later, but... this. When water fills the lake, shoot for the more. Yeah, except for a slingshot won't work. You need the bow and arrow, which you're not getting for a while yet. So yeah, this is something for later, basically put. It's the owl again? Are you stalking me or something? It seems like wherever I go, you're... Of course, at this point, he can actually be useful. He offers to take you back to give you a lift back to Hyrule Castle, or right next, right in front of it, which could be a major time saver. As again, because of how large Hyrule Field is, well, at least large for this game, the time of this game, 19, late 1990s. But just for visual proof, to show you how long it would take. I'm going to walk my way through. The other reason for doing this is because later, considerably later in the game, there will be a side quest sequence where one of the parts of it will be going from Lake Hylia to the other side of Hyrule Field and beyond in under four minutes. A trip which on foot, I don't think is possible without a few shortcuts. But more details about that when I get to that point in the game. Yeah, for now. <coughs> Look, I'm not even halfway through yet. Nice that they have a large world map, but kind of bland and boring. Don't get me wrong, I love this game. Like I said, to me, in my opinion, it's not only the best Zelda game, but the best video game of all time, regarding just the video gaming history. But, fanboy gushing aside, yeah. They could have done more with Hyrule Field. Yeah. Two minutes of real time just to walk from one side to the other. Yeah, if you're doing that side quest later in the game, it takes over two minutes just to walk from Lake Hylia to here. So yeah, highly unlikely you'd be able to make that trip on foot. You'd need a couple shortcuts. But more details on that when I get to that point. For now, actually...
Now that I think about it, that's right. I never did. Okay. Got 47 rupees. Take another couple stabs, so to speak, at Dampy's Heart Piece minigame. Since it just literally, you know, nightfall. Dampy should still be in the graveyard there. too far ahead don't even have the item I was gonna don't even have the item I was just gonna give away again thinking too far ahead too quickly first gotta go back to town Hyrule market town that is and give back the money for the skull mask Open that gate. Come on. Could wait until morning, but why wait if you don't have to? I mean, the first time on your way here, you had to because you wouldn't have wouldn't have had the sun song yet at that point in the game. But you need Zelda's lullaby to even get into the place where you learn the sun song. And at that point, you would have had no choice. But now. some money for the mask sequence. Remember how much it was actually. Twenty. Ain't good enough. Start that. Slow down. Spooky mask, which looks quite similar to the stone mask of the next game, Majora's Mask. I mean, it's not, and even if it was, it doesn't work like it does in that game. It doesn't make you invincible. Or Invisible, rather, invisible to patrolling guards like it will in Majora's Mask. Just kind of looks the same, though.
this, by the way, it has to be daylight since the person that wants the mask. during the daytime, nighttime. Well, since he's just a little kid, he's probably home in bed. And again, by the way, you actually have to be wearing the mask when you talk to him, otherwise it's not going to matter anyway. You let them get out again? Well, you're on your own this time, buddy. Alright. Why would you want to be like Dampy? Seriously, dude, you got a very questionable choice of role models. I tell you that much right now. Yeah. He's supposed to be a kid. How does he get 30? I mean, granted, I was a kid in an entirely different time setting, you know, the 1970s. But still, where does a kid that young get 30 bucks? Frick, if I had 30 bucks back when I was his age, I would have thought I was rich. Again, talking about the late 1970s, prices were a lot different back then, but still. But anyway, yeah. Why would anybody want to be like Dampy? suddenly realized something I probably should have pointed out at the very introduction of the first video of this series. One of the reasons I'm playing the 3DS version instead of the N64 original is for Master Quest, which comes with the 3DS version of the game. Granted, you have to beat the main game, original game first to unlock Master Quest, but once you do, you and I intend on doing a playthrough of Master Quest, at least the Master Quest dungeons anyways. Probably won't you know, do a complete 100% playthrough of the you know, outside the rest of the game other than the dungeons since nothing changes there, just the dungeons are different. Unlike say like the second quest of the first Zelda game where everything is different in the second quest save the location of level 1 which is still in the same spot but other than that dungeons are in different locations, dungeon layouts are completely different, dungeon bosses are oftentimes different. In Master Quest of this game you, the dungeons are still in the same place and it's still the same basic room to room layout you're just going through the rooms in different order with different enemies and different puzzles. But other than that, yeah, everything else is the same. So to say Master Quest is like the second quest of the first game, I disagree. Not at all. Anyways, I'm still going to do a playthrough of it when I get that far. Which again is why I'm doing the 3DS version and not necessarily the original. That and a couple other reasons that I'll talk about when they're not so much spoiler material. But mainly for the Master Quest idea. The final mask in the sequence. Now, first and foremost, 
while you do have a bunny hood and Majora's mask, in this game it does not work like it will there. It does not make you walk faster. If it did, I would be tempted to just stop the side quest right here and keep this for the rest of the game, but no. That having been said, this is as far as I can go with this sequence for now. The person that wants this is not out until after the third dungeon. And I think the first storyline sequence after it, I think. Either way, he's not out and about right now. After the third dungeon, he will be out somewhere around Lon Lon Ranch, usually on the dirt roads, just walking around. But he's not there yet, which for me is just as well, because even if he was here right now, and I could complete this mass sequence right now, I wouldn't for monetary reasons. Spoiler alert, the, one of the prizes that, in my opinion, makes this whole mask sequence worth it, other than just 100% completion bragging and all that kind of stuff that very few people would care about anyways. One of the reasons I go through with this is because one of the prizes he gives you is literally a wallet full of money. He pays so much for the mask that he maxes out your wallet. Right now I got the $200 medium sized one. By the time he will be out and about and you can complete this sequence, it will be possible to have 30 Sculptula tokens and therefore have the final wallet upgrade and be able to carry 500 rupees. So there's a $300 rupee differential there if you do this now or wait until it. So yes, for that 300 rupee differential, even if it were possible to do this now, I wouldn't. Not until I get that final wallet upgrade for 30 Sculptula tokens anyways. Because that 500 rupees you get from him, given the point in time in the game that you get it, can be very helpful. Because you're not too far away from needing at least 50, if not more than that, for an optional side quest. Mini game. Anyways, where the hell am I going? I was just walking around Long Long Ranch just to visually prove that the person that will buy the bunny hood from you is not out yet. So nobody can say, oh, you just didn't look in the right... Yeah, no, he's not here. He doesn't show up until after you've completed the third dungeon. that even if he was I wouldn't bother with it yet anyways and I you know <clears throat> if you care about getting more money for the side quest well that's what I was talking about the large economy size the king size rather I should say I guess you don't even have to swat at the sculpture it's just to you know, have enough of them appear in general whether you avoid them or attack them whatever just, just have enough of them appear in one night cycle I don't know why they bothered putting that in there. One of those, what do they call that in... Dang it, what do they call that in gamers, sir? Easter eggs, man. Anyway, that's about it for optional... Collectibles, hard pieces, side quests. Except for Dampy's hard piece from that digging mini game. Still haven't gotten that yet. Want to get that before I go on. Do I need it to complete the game? No. Many people have done three hard challenges where they go through the entire game never getting any of the hard pieces or any of the hard containers throughout the entire game. 
playing the whole game with just the three you start with. So do you need the hard pieces? No, not at all. But I'm more the completionist than I am the challenge playthrough or the speed runner. So especially where hard pieces are concerned. <laughs> That ain't enough, then. Hopefully, that's enough. Since again, for the purpose of this heart piece mini game, the Sun Song is totally useless. It takes you beyond the point in time where Gampy is out. I think they designed it that way just to be sadistic, just to be annoying. stopped. Alright. Now, just to be sure. Yep, 628. Again, 6 to 9. Sun Song takes you, I think if I remember correctly, it takes you to midnight. So, I mean, three hours too late. Alright, let's try this again. do but I don't want them right now by the way did I mention how much I hate this yeah never mind yes I did exceed excessively come on dude Set here mastering the art of twiddling your thumbs while you wait for him to walk around. As I was saying... Dude! I sometimes wonder if... He's not, you know, just conveniently rigging this. Doesn't want to give you the heart piece because he knows the minute he digs up that heart piece, you're going to leave. 
never to talk to his sorry ass again for the rest of the game. He knows that of a surety. So therefore, he's a conveniently not digging up the heart piece because he wants me in. I mean, I know that's not it, but... Finally! And that's why I wanted this one. Now I have six heart containers. And now that's about it for all things optional, at least for now. Been all around the world, everywhere I have access to at this point. Uh, now, for the start, <coughs> at the start of the next video, I will make my way to the next dungeon. See you then. Bye for now. And as always, thanks for watching.